Hello, welcome to the last video of the section Creating Resource Pools and VApp. In this video, you are going to take a look at what is resource pool, resource pool hierarchy, understand shared reservation and limits, understand expendable feature, what is VApp, and at the end of the video, we will do the lab activity are related to creation of resource pool and VApp. What is resource pool? Resource pool is a logical abstraction of CPU and memory resources. We use resource pool to share limit and reservation of resources for virtual machines. We need it when we have CPU and memory contention on the cluster or we need to dedicate the amount of resources for the list of virtual machines. Although these all things can be also done through the particular virtual machines. But the management overhead will be high if we want to go with a one by one virtual machine. So to configure share limit and reservation on multiple virtual machine, we create a resource pool and put all those virtual machine in that resource pool so that whatever allocation we will do on that resource pool will be applied to all those virtual machine which is inside that resource pool. And if you want to create a resource pool, you must have DRS enabled on the cluster before creating it. And resource pool provides better allocation of CPU and memory resources by using few parameters. Resource pool hierarchical structure. If we will see the hierarchy of a resource pool in a virtual data center, we have cluster and that cluster is a root resource pool. And if we create any resource pool inside that cluster, that will be a parent resource pool. In this case, we have resource pool 01 as a parent resource pool. And inside the resource pool 01 or a parent resource pool, if we create any resource pool, then that will be a child resource pool. And if we create any parallel resource pool, similar to the sequence of resource pool 01, here we have resource pool 03, that will be a sibling resource pool. Distribution types in resource pool. We have three types of distribution in resource pool. One is share, second one is reservation and third one is limit. Share. Share has three values. One is high, second one is normal and third one is low and it has a ratio of 4, ratio 2, ratio 1. Share value comes into the picture only if there is a resource contention on the cluster. And if virtual machine configured with a share value is high, it will take the priority over other virtual machines. And the distribution of the resources will be as per the priorities which is set in terms of 100, 50 and 25 which is configured for high, normal and low. How share ratio works? Let's suppose you have three virtual machines, VM1, VM2 and VM3. VM1 is configured as a high, VM2 is configured as a normal and VM3 is configured as a low and all has 8 GB memory on each virtual machine. In case of any contention, since VM1 has high share value, then it will get the 100% resources. It means it will get 8 GB of memory. And since VM2 is configured as a normal, it will get 50% of resources. It means it will get 4 GB of RAM. And the third one is configured as a low, that will get 25% of resources. It means the total memory which is assigned as 8 GB, that will reduce to the 2 GB. So that is how the shared value works. Reservation. 
reservation define the guarantee allocation of resources to the virtual machine let's suppose you have 8 gb of memory which is configured on a virtual machine and in case of contention that virtual machine doesn't get the 8 gb of memory but you want to allocate the dedicated memory to that virtual machine you will set reservation policy limit it specify the capping and upper bound of the virtual machine resource uses let's suppose you have a virtual machine with the 8 gb of memory you want to set a limit of 4 gb it means that even if you have assigned 8 gb memory to that virtual machine it will not go beyond the utilization of 4 gb so this is how limit works resource pool options here if you will see in this picture we have cpu resources and memory resources and in the cpu resources and memory resources we have share value reservation value and limit and also we have expendable reservation option what is that expendable reservation option if it is unable then parent resource can give resources to child and child resource can take resources from parent but if expendable reservation is not selected then parent resources cannot give resources to the child and child resources cannot take resources from the parent what is vapp vapp is a kind of container which can have multiple resource pool and inside that resource pool we can have multiple virtual machines vapp helps to make a pool of virtual object such as virtual machines and it used to package and manage multi tiered applications it apply resource reservation and limit on vapp which will apply to all object inside you can also configure the cpu and memory limit and reservation to the vapp and it has also option for the ip allocation policy like if you have set of virtual machine and you want to assign ip address to those virtual machine you can configure those ip address in a vapp and it will automatically assign the ip to the virtual machines apart from these features vapp also has option for prioritizing to shut down and start a feature on the virtual machines where we use it in most of the cases when we perform a disaster recovery scenario then we want to power on a specific virtual machine in a specific priority then you can configure that priority in a vapp that vm a will power on first and vm b will power on after vm a come up then that feature is available in vapp so this is about the vapp now we will jump to the lab and we will see how we can create resource pool we will add virtual machine to the resource pool we will create vapp we will add resource pool to vapp and we will show other options of resource pool and vapp login to vcenter server To create a resource pool, you need to log into vCenter server, then right click on cluster, select new resource pool, give any name. Now you have option for CPU and memory and you can define the shares value, reservation and limit. So whatever virtual machine will be available in this resource pool will be applied and will be applicable for these resources. We are leaving it as it is in this configuration now. Click on OK.
Now we want to add a virtual machine to this resource pool. To add virtual machine, you just need to drag and drop. Select this virtual machine and drag it to the resource pool. Now this virtual machine is part of resource pool 1. So whatever reservations, shares or limit value you have configured on the resource pool that will be applicable for the virtual machines, whatever virtual machines exist inside this pool. Now we are going to create a V app. To create a V app, again right click on cluster, click on new V app, select new V app, select create a new V app and click on next. Give any name, select data center. Click next. Here also you can define the shares, reservations and limit value for CPU and memory resources. We are leaving it as it is now. Click next. Click finish. Now you may ask that what is difference between the resource pool and VApp. So in resource pool, you have only option for configuring the reservation limit and share value. However, in vApp, you have other options as well. Right click on vApp. Go to edit settings. Here you can see that you have many options such as IP allocation, start order. It means that if you have multiple virtual machines in this vApp, you can set the starting order of those virtual machines. And you can also configure the IP address using the IP allocation of this method. So these are the advantages of this vApp. That's all from this section. In next section, we are moving to the data center resiliency in which we will explore about the vSpeed HA and fault tolerance. Thank you. Stay tuned.